Welcome to the Healthy Skin Show with Jennifer Fugo, where we're flipping everything you've been told about your chronic skin issues upside down and connecting you with alternative solutions your dermatologist never told you about. Welcome back to episode number 129 of the Healthy Skin Show. In today's episode, I'm talking all about parasites and whether or not you have them if you have chronic skin rashes. This particular episode was inspired by a series of questions that I've gotten over the past couple of months from private clients. They'd done a lot of internet research and had stumbled across information that basically claims that everyone has parasites and that it's a big problem that your doctor isn't looking for. And that if you have any sort of health issues, including rashes, it's pretty likely that you have parasites and need to do a pretty elaborate and expensive parasite cleanse. So is that true? Are hidden parasite infections to blame for your rashes? Now, in my ongoing work around decoding chronic skin rashes, I've identified 16 different root causes. Often a person has a combo of three to five root causes that hide under the surface and get in your way of stopping the flare cycle. And yes, parasites could certainly fall into the bucket of hidden infections. There are many different types of parasites. Some live inside of you, while others, like demodex mites, live on you. Most people think that parasite infections come from consuming contaminated food or water, but there are several modes of transmission, like through the bottom of your bare feet. My husband and I have each had experiences with parasite infections that happened while walking barefoot on separate occasions. Mine occurred while I was walking barefoot in a river in Costa Rica, while his infection happened during our honeymoon in Belize while walking on a beach. Pets can also track parasites into your home. And my colleague Jennifer Brand, who's been on the show, as you know, works with a lot of young children. She's noted to me that it's not uncommon for children to get parasites because they're putting basically everything in their mouths that's on the floor. So yes, parasite infections can certainly be a hidden root cause. And yes, rashes of all sorts can be triggered by parasites. But are they always the root cause of skin rashes? The honest answer is no. With that said, here's some food for thought. Of the clients that are telling me this, they're the ones doing the research. They come across these videos and articles about parasites. And I will add to this that it's not just one particular type of skin condition that seems to be coming across this information. I've had clients who have eczema and others who have psoriasis that have said essentially the same thing, which goes something like, you know, I was online and I came across all this information where the person said that basically everyone has parasites. And that's why everything I've tried so far hasn't worked. So I bought this parasite detox cleanse they recommended. It looked like a really good program. First of all, I want to make it clear that I have been in your shoes, diving down the online rabbit holes, researching my own eczema issues. There is a lot of great information online. However, there's also a lot of marketing that appears as if it is factual information. And it's often sold by people who have zero credentials except that they have a great story that sounds oddly familiar. Unfortunately, these clients have ended up spending, and maybe I should actually say wasting, a lot of money on very expensive parasite cleanses, yet ultimately they never had parasites in the first place and obviously didn't get any results from these DIY programs either. The reason is that everyone does not have parasites. In the past three years of my clinical practice and the many stool tests that I have reviewed in my practice, only two people actually had parasitic infections. Two. The majority of my clients who struggle with rashes, even who have gut problems, do not have parasites. My recommendation is to hold up on spending a lot of money on an expensive parasite cleanse, especially if you do not have any confirmation that you have a parasite. 
even if you do have a positive test, different parasites may need different approaches to get rid of them. And depending on how long you've had the infection and how severe it is, it might take several different targeted steps to address them. That's why a one-size-fits-all expensive parasite cleanse is short-sighted and might not get you the results you're hoping for. So I hope this helps to set the record straight. It's my intention that sharing this will spare you in a moment of desperation. From being suckered into spending anywhere from $800 to $2,000 on a boatload of supplements that claim to rid you of parasites that you probably don't have. So if you really want to know if you have parasites, speak to an infectious disease doctor or get a clinical stool test that looks for these types of organisms. One of my clients who I've mentioned on the Healthy Skin Show before discovered through our work that he had blastocystis hominis. He had zero gut symptoms, but chronic eczema rashes all over the place. The stool test that I suggested which picked up on the blasto, finally explained why all of the antimicrobial supplements he had previously taken on his own had never helped. They weren't effective on blasto. And this is why it's so important to dig into what's underlying your rashes so that you can stop throwing darts, and oftentimes very expensive darts, in the dark. If you found this information helpful, I would love if you would share this with anyone who may be wondering if parasites could be at the root cause of their skin rashes. While it's possible that they could be, it's also equally likely that they're not. Getting tested is oftentimes the best, most cost-effective way forward so that you know what you're dealing with and can take meaningful steps forward. I'll share all the supporting links to this episode in the show notes over at skinterrupt.com forward slash 129. There, you can also leave any questions or comments or experiences about parasitic infections and your rashes so that we can keep the conversation going. And before you head off for the rest of your day, remember to take a moment to rate and review the show and then hit the subscribe button so that the next episode lands on your mobile device. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.